Welcome to Insurance Agent Training. Every Monday, I'm live with you, man. Every two o'clock Central Standard Time. I love doing this. Today, I got a big topic. It's really a simple topic, but it's going to change your business and your life. It's not even that complicated. I just got done with the live training event. We had almost 30 agents in Tampa for our free live training. We're traveling the North America, maybe Canada next, right? For free live trains. We also just got done with the retreat. I love retreats. I love spending time with you guys. I love retreats because it, it's an intimate, exclusive experience where I can dive into your business and implement specific strategies and tactics to take you from where you're, wherever you're at, right, to the next level. So if you get a chance to spend time with us at a retreat, you will think differently. You will see us produce live YouTube ads, right? You will also see us build ads. You will see us help people generate leads, websites, Google, blogging, SEO, everything long-term that you have to know to succeed at a high level in this industry. We provide not so much right like this, right? But during our exclusive events, make sure you get a chance to join us. Today is all about the power of using hypotheticals. At the same time though, it, 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 it's, it's, it's the fact that you should always ask a follow-up question. Asking a follow-up question is huge. It's supremely important, it's absolutely imperative, and it's something that you should be doing. For instance, when I ask my wife, hey babe, where do you want to go to dinner? What do you think she says? Put it in comments below right now. What do you think she says, babe, where do you want to go to dinner? Where do you want to go to dinner? Where do you want to eat? Where should we go? Where should we go out to? What do you think she says? She says, I don't know. No, you pick. I'm not sure, right? All those things. Well, when that happens, I always ask a follow-up question. For instance, and she knows it now, right? Hypothetically, if you had to choose, where would you say? How good is that? How good is that? You have to be using hypotheticals and asking follow-up questions. Because what happens is, if you're in a home and the person says, I don't know, and you move on, they say, I don't know, and you move on without addressing and getting an answer to that question. What you're doing is you're psychologically telling the prospect, it is okay to not answer me. It is okay to never answer my questions the rest of the time we're together. But instead, like for instance, when I'm driving through my neighborhood, I get answers to my questions. So, and, and I view this as the same exact example. When I'm driving through my neighborhood and I wave at a neighbor, if they do not wave back because they're a jerk, I stop my car, roll down my window, and keep waving until they wave back. Is that strong or is that strong? Because, because literally, I want to practice what I preach. When, when I want someone to respond to me, I'm going to get a response. When I want someone to answer my question, I'm going to get an answer. I'll be sitting in these, all, all these live training events, and I'll ask, some, I'll ask the audience to say, hey, say yes if you're with me. Say yes if you agree with me. Say yes if you're awake, right? Because energy is everything. If I've got a quiet audience and they are not answering me, what I will say is nothing until they respond. I'll sit there awkwardly, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, and Duker's, Duker's helping us produce a live show today. Tell me if I'm wrong, bro. It's five, six, seven seconds. I will speak not up until they respond. And I'll look around, you know, and, and, and finally they'll be like, yes, right? Because you gotta practice what you preach. You gotta do what you say. I was in a home in Joplin, Missouri, training a new agent. And in that home, I asked the gentleman, because I also believe there's ways to ask questions to get results. And there's ways to ask questions that, that, that's a stupid question and you're not going to get the results you want, right? I, I believe in that. If you guys believe in that, put yes below because I'm with you. I believe in it right now. But also, I was sitting with this guy and I said, hey, sir, do, do you know where your life insurance policy is? That's not the best way to ask it, number one. It's really not, okay? There's better ways. But he said, what do you think he said? Right now, comments below, what do you think he said? I said, hey, sir, do you know where your life insurance policy is? Like most people, when you ask them a question, they say what? I don't know or no, right? So he says, I don't know. I say, okay, sir, it, it, hypothetically, right? If you, and I didn't say that, it didn't make any sense, but I used it and it, and it worked. If you knew where it was, because he just said, I don't know where my policy is, bro. I don't know. If you knew where it was, where would it be? Is that good or is that good? 
It's strong, and it works. Because he said, well, if I knew where it was, it'd be in that filing cabinet right over there. Eight seconds before, he said, what? I don't know. Right? So I'm sitting over here by the filing cabinet. I open it. I'm like, this one? Yes. I open it. Guess what's sitting right on top, baby? His life insurance policy. After he just said, I don't know. It's human nature to say what? I don't know. It's human nature to say no. It's human nature to not give an answer or a response, right? I'm assuming we've been going, what, five or six minutes so far, Duker, right? It's, it, it's human nature to not give answers to. It's just, it, it just is, right? I will, I will have it all happen all the time. Someone will be talking to me and they'll, and they'll ask me a question. I'm like, I don't know, right? When I know the answer, but I'm lazy, right? You're lazy. Your prospects are lazy. We're all lazy. But instead, there's a great salespeople get answers. Great salespeople always ask a follow-up question. Great salespeople stop in a freaking neighborhood and keep waving until all the neighbors wave back, right? Because great salespeople get what they want. They're in control. They're steering the conversation. And they do not listen to I don't know, knows, etc. So use hypotheticals to get answers to your questions. In, in, in closing, as they would say, in summarizing really quick, because this is strong. I, and, and I know, I'm not even going to ask you if you saw value to share. I know you saw value, so just click the freaking share button right now. Because I know you, you loved it today, right? Am I right? Am I, are you with me? Yeah. Always ask hypotheticals. Be freaking prepared, right? Always get answers to questions. When you ask a question, get it answered, okay? And make sure that you are able to ask things correctly and maintain control, okay? So every Monday we do something with you, interested in training. We are right now 32 days away from 8% Nation. Duker's wearing the polo back there. You need to come hang out with us, right? We've only got 50-something VIP tickets left. They will sell out this week. You want to be a VIP, private party, private lounge, free lunch, close seating. We're doing a private speaker Q&A where you can get up and ask a question to a speaker. I'm going to pass you the mic right now. Are you ready? What are you going to say? Maybe that will happen at 8% Nation. Hope you're able to make it 32 days away. Hope you have a great week. Happy freaking insurance week. Go out and sell something. I love this business. I'm passionate about it. And I do this every Monday at 2 o'clock to help you. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you at 8% Nation. Have an incredible week.